How is everybody doing? Actually, let me turn this on real quick. This is your boy Chapu at Dope God 3D. Uh, right now, I'm gonna focus on my Mingda D2s. Why do I focus so much on them even though I don't recommend them? Well, let's be real. There's people out there that have them and I wanna give them hope that if you work hard enough, you can get them to work properly. Um, I am one that absolutely hates glue, but ABS, SPLA, and sometimes PETG calls for it. Um, right now, this is, I can't remember which one is, I gotta label them, but I'm gonna call this one version one. That's how loud that is. And here's version two. And the only difference is the cooler. Now I see running at full. And this is all fans on this one running on full. So version one, version two, um, have different coolers both of which can be found on Thingiverse. This one is a complete housing. Comes with a 4020 blower adapter. adapter. And on this one, I also have an all metal uh, extruder. I had to swap out the metal extruder because the one that I had was failing. I also swapped it out for a Creality 4210 stepper motor. And then on top of that, I'm using a steel a hardened steel gear head, okay? And then I have a hardened steel a hot end on version one. One thing I will tell you that I did notice, uh, it's all metal. So there's no PTFE lining inside this tubing here. So with the proper cooling, which I redirected the fins, I angled them down. Um, you can print carbon fiber, ABS, but you have to learn how to do PID tuning where you teach this machine how far it can and can't go. Because right now the highest temperature it can go is 248 degrees Celsius. As soon as I put 249 or 250, it fails. The bed, the highest temperature I can go is 78. Anything above that fails. On this little piggy, it has a 4010 blower and a brand new 4010 fan, high velocity fan, but you still can't hear it. So on this one, I have the original magnetic bed. On this one, I have an all glass bed. And then I'm using two spool holders, uh, top, loading spool holders filament holders that i also got on thingiverse as well on this one i took off the filament sensor and this one i left it on i adapted it up there i could actually put it higher if i want so that i can get the full 260 millimeters out of this machine but so far so good i've been printing This is called the Little Pain. Boom. And I have a couple more back there that I've been doing. Look at the quality. And there you have it. So far so good on the Mingda D2s. Um, I'm gonna create a bin file for my Cura settings and hopefully I'll be able to share it. I'll think you were, that is so rude. If you guys ever meet my daughter, she'll tell you I hate when people talk and yawn at the same time and here I go and do it for myself.
Jeez Louise, Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, and I did print this part. Bada bing. Not bad. And this is at 0.28 millimeters. So technically it's not supposed to look this good. So gotta give props or proper to do, but it does. All right, folks, there you have it. Ming the D2s here in 2021, finally working. But again, 4020 blower, 4020, 4010 fan, brand new all metal extruder, brand new hardened steel brass. Uh, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. Hmm. Grip, grind, hand, tooth, whatever in order to grip the filament. On this one, I have it stock because it hasn't failed. But on both of them, the one thing that they both have in common is the all metal Big Tree Tech hot end. Hardened steel, Big Tree Tech hot end. All right, folks, take care. God bless. One love, 2021.